Testing, yes, one, yeah, good. Thank you. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the First Southern Baptist Church of Buena Park. We've got a lot of guests tonight and we welcome all of you to the First Southern Baptist Church. This is also the headquarters for the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. It's been my privilege since the year 2000 to serve as the chairman of the Congressional Prayer Conference. It was also my privilege to serve as a co-candidate for president of the United States. Obviously, I didn't win. Mr. Trump did. And we're all glad of that, including me. Uh, but uh, we will continue to pray for our nation. Please do. I will be in Washington, D.C. on the 20th of January, which is the inaugural presidential inaugural prayer breakfast.org. And if you're interested in that to see what's going to be happening, just go online, Presidential Inaugural Prayer Breakfast.org, and you'll be able to find out what's going on. You'll see others that are there, you'll see who will be there, and you'll see a place there you can get a ticket if you'd like uh, and be there. There's two ways you can be there. Number one, boots on the ground. I'll be there, Lord willing. There's another way you can be there. You can call our conference call number. We have a telephone conference call that you can call in on and listen in on the inaugural address when Mr. Trump is sworn in. We'll be there. We'll be on the Hill. We'll also be there all week long. We'll start there on the 17th at 12 noon and at 8 p.m. doing a trumpet of God for Trump. And the reason we call it the Trump of God is because that's what the Bible calls it in the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. The trumpet is sounded. The English word is trumpet. I don't know how to say it in Korean, but, uh, but the uh, Hebrew word is shofar. And we blow the shofar to send our prayers to heaven. And I want to ask you, if you would, to uh, listen for the shofar. And uh, as we hear the shofar sounded, please send your prayers heavenwardly. And uh, we are live on the air. And I want to ask Brother William, as soon as he gets the sound working better, <laughs> he's going to come up and uh, lead us uh, in prayer, in our opening prayer. We have some great guests with us here from uh, Sarong Community Church, Pastor Hannah Shell, Sarong Gloria Choir, and others will be sharing with us in a little bit. But before we do that, Brother Will, would you lead us in prayer? Father, this day we do lift our voices to you. First of all, we thank you for that salvation freely given to us through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for the many blessings in our lives, Lord. Thank you for being such a long-suffering and forgiving God. I pray, Lord, in this day that we will honor you with our presence, Lord. The Bible teaches us the day came when the sons of God came to present themselves to the Lord. I pray, Lord, we stand before you righteous, covered in the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I pray for our guest father, Brother James, you and, and surround community church, the doers of the word, Lord. Yes. And thank them, Lord, for all that they do for this ministry. I pray, Lord, you would use their pastor tonight to deliver your word, to open some ears, some eyes, and some hearts to the revelation of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All these things I pray for in the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. 
Amen. And now, please send your prayers upwardly toward heaven with the sounding of the shofar. A sermon this morning talked about being used by the Lord. I want to do everything we can to make this service go smoothly. And so we're going to take care of the housekeeping before we do anything else. And that is, I'm going to ask my ushers if they would come forward. They're going to take these offering plates, and all of us are going to be used by God. If you'd like to make a donation, and be used by God in this church and around the world, you donate as well. And so I encourage you to do that as they come around. As they uh, take the offering, I want to say a word to our audience. The subscriber company that subscribed, we're on television right now, by the way. So don't say anything you don't want people to hear. Because <laughs> it's on TV right now. If later you'd like to come back and watch this program, it will be in the archives. It will be an hour plus long, and you'll be able to watch it again. And if you're going to be singing, you'll be able to see yourself performing. You will be on TV tonight. You're on TV right now. And uh, that's why we want to move ahead, though, and take this offering, get that taken care of, and ask the Lord to bless uh, that offering. And... Uh, Bless our time together. Now, take that over. Okay, there you go. All right, thank you. And if you would, take those over to uh, Brother Will. So, Ron, praise team, where are you? All right, take your place on the stage, please. Let's give the praise team a hand. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. We do thank the Lord for that. And we're going to ask the Lord to bless this offering, even though one of our shamash, in case you're wondering to improve your linguistic ability. In the Bible, people that were helpers were called shamash. That's Hebrew. These men are ushers, they're agents and helpers, and we just shorten it and call them shamash. So as they finish the offering, we're going to have a blessing right now on the offering that God has allowed you and us to give. Father, we thank you for this night. We thank you for these men, these women, and these people here that are being used of God, being used with their talent, being used with their attendance, being used with their offering, and being used with all the things that you have done and are doing with us and through us here this night. In the precious and holy name of Jesus, we pray. And I want to ask you by your heads one more time. Father, in the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, we claim this offering and we dedicate it to you. All of those that gave, bless them according. And Father, those that couldn't give, we know you understand. And we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing here tonight. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. All right, Brother Will, thank you. Take that back there. Now, all together. If I don't see your lips moving, you're not together, okay? <laughs> I may come out there with a microphone and let you do a solo. This is participatory worship and praise. These are the praise leaders. Follow them as they lead us. Please participate. Go right ahead. All right, so is, is every, every um, you know, third Sunday of each month, we're here, and it's so good to be here. Um, you know, we, we celebrate, uh, yeah, at least in this country, we celebrate this Sunday as a Thanksgiving Sunday. Amen. And you know, every country has some sort of a Thanksgiving day. You know,
know, in Korea, we have our Thanksgiving Day. Uh, Canada, our neighbor Canada has uh, it's their own Thanksgiving. Anybody know when the Canadian Thanksgiving Day is? Yeah, actually, one of our pastors is from Canada. Oh, okay. So when's the Canadian Thanksgiving Day? Right, October when? <laughs> Someday. In actually, so in in this country, the, our Thanksgiving is. fourth Thursday of November, right? So this coming Thursday will be the fourth Thursday. In Canada, it's actually second Monday, right? Second Monday of October is the Thanksgiving day. I like ours better because it's one day after my birthday. Oh, really? <laughs> you know, one of the things, you know, one of the things why we're so thankful is because we have a God Amen. that loves us so much. We have a God that cares for us so much. Amen. We have a God that adopted us uh, as His children. Uh, you know, the first song that we're going to sing is called uh, There Is None Like You. Amen. Uh, you know, let's really put our heart and lips to this song and uh, uh, praise God.
All right, so as we sing our next song, The Happy Day, um, you know, if we could just stand up and uh, greet each other. Uh, say hi to people that you haven't seen in a while. Just go around and, and feel free to uh, greet each other.
Thank you so much, Sarong Praise Team. Not to praise them, but to praise Jesus. Would you give them another applause, though, <laughs> to praise our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our pastor tonight is Pastor Hannah Seu. Am I pronouncing that right? Is that right? All right, come on up. And as she makes her way to the platform, I want you to pray. Give her a hand. And before she shares the scripture with us, I want you to pray a prayer with me. I want you to repeat after me. Dear God, Please speak, Please speak to me, me through Pastor Hannah. Through Pastor Hannah. And, may and may I respond to what you tell me to do. Anoint her and use her. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you, my sister. back here exactly one year after. I don't know if some of you guys might remember me or not, but I was here last um, Thanksgiving, and it's great to be back here. And, you know, I just love greeting each other. So, you know, I heard once, like, from this teacher that in old English, um, though, you know, these days we say, oh, like, that's really awesome, right? But in old English, the way to say awesome was actually awful. Like awful, like you're full of awe, and I don't know how it changed to awesome, but you know it used to be awful. So right now, um, with knowing the right meaning, let's just turn to our neighbor and say, "You look really awful today." <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the right meaning, okay. With the right meaning. With the right yes. meaning, you look meaning really awesome. Meaning that you are awesome. <laughs> yes, thank you. Amen. Yes, you guys all look very awful tonight. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so it's good to be back here, and as we are, you know, celebrating um, Thanksgiving, and, you know, back in my church, I'm actually from Sarang Church as well. I'm a pastor for fourth through sixth graders, um, so it's the upper elementary kids, and we had our Thanksgiving potluck too, so, you know, I've been just fed so well. I know you guys are going to be eating really good Thanksgiving food after, so, you know, um, yeah, get excited, but right now we're going to be eating the Word of God, okay? So uh, before we go in, I know we pray, but can we just pray one more time to just come before the Lord? Amen. Father God, I just want to thank you so much for bringing your church here. And God, thank you so much for your son that has um, allowed us to taste and see how good you are and that you have adopted us to be your son and daughters. And God, um, as we come before your word, your word is true. So God, uh, we open our hearts and our minds to receive this. And let it not just fall to the ground, but may it be planted deeply in our hearts. And may every day, may you grow us uh, to, be, uh, to be more and more like you. So God, be with us and speak to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, today, you know, I actually wanted to talk about names. And, you know, if anything, in this room, um, all of us have a name, right? Yeah. We all have a name. And, you know, my name is Hannah, and, you know, we, we have names. And, you know, did you know that actually God has names, too? You know, we, we praise God, and yes, like Jesus is a name, too. But, you know, God actually has a lot of names um, that we can find through the Bible. He actually has more than 700 different names, yeah, that wow. describes who he is. And just with those little names, or those, uh, each of those names, we get to see glimpses of who our God is and how he operates and what he likes and, you know, things like that. So um, today I just wanted to talk about one of the names. And, you know, as we can see, name is something very important to all of us. Oh, name is very important to all of us, usually in the Western culture, right? Names are labels that distinguish one person to the other. Right? That's how we introduce ourselves, and it really uh, you know, tells who we are. And the name that I wanted to introduce about God today is the name Yahweh. I don't know, maybe you guys already know about this name, or maybe it's your first time hearing about it, but that is like the name of God, and it's called Yahweh. It's a Hebrew word. On a side note, the word God is not God's name, right? Um, God is just a word that describes someone that has, is a supreme being that has supernatural powers. That's why we do have other gods with 
lowercase g, right? They're not real gods, but we just kind of like describe them to be gods. Uh, the one that we praise, the one that we love, and the one that we worship tonight is the God with a capital G. Amen? Amen. Yes, because he is the God of all the universe, and um, his name is Yahweh. So this name actually first comes out in the book of Exodus, chapter 3, and that's the passage that we're going to be looking at today. Um, just a little background about this passage. Um, there was this guy named Moses. Um, he is... You know, he, he used to live in this place called Egypt. He grew up there, and um, one day he sins. He does something horrible, and he feels very guilty, so he decides to run away um, from the people, run away from God. And he goes into this place called Midian, and he lives there for 40 years. Uh, and he has his own family there, and he's, he's like a shepherd, and he just has his life going on over there. But after 40 years, uh, one day, um, he's just you know, taking care of his flock, and in the mountains or in one of the caves, he see this, sees something very strange, and it's the burning bush. Um, it's just really strange because just in the middle of nowhere, you see something burning, but it's not really burning. And Moses is like, what is that? So he goes to check it out. And lo and behold, um, God was there calling Moses. He was trying to attract him so he can come to him. And basically, he's saying, Moses, I'm going to use you as a leader. I want you to go back to Egypt where you fled away. I know you're scared. I know that people might remember you and they're going to try to kill you. I, but I want to use you to go back and save your people. I want you to free those slaves. And I'm going to use you as a leader. And so, you know, Moses is talking with God. And Moses, he, he's a coward, actually. He doesn't say, all right, God, I'm going to go. But he's more like, ah, oh, I think you picked the wrong person. I don't think I'm it. I don't think I can go. And one of the things that he asks is like the start of our passage today. So in Exodus chapter 3 from verse 13, Moses said to God, suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask me, what is his name? Then what shall I tell them? Moses is like, wait, 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 wait. But Okay, I'm going to go back to Egypt, but what if those people ask me, I come, in the, I come with God, God has sent me, but what if they ask me, what is your God's name? And this is what God answers. He goes in uh, verse 14, I am who I am. Amen. That's what God says. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, say to the Israelites, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever, the name you shall call me from generation to generation. This is what Yahweh says to Moses. He's like, you know what? All you need to know is my name, and my name is I am. I am who I am. And when you actually translate Yahweh uh, into English, it actually literally means I am. And you know, usually when we introduce ourselves, right, we say three words. When I meet you, I say, I am Hannah, right? Or I am, I don't know, David, or I am Sarah, right? We use three words to introduce ourselves. But something very interesting about God is he answers differently. He never fills in the third blank. He never, you know, he doesn't need to because he's just him. He doesn't need to fill in the third blank because he cannot be confined to one word. And he's just like, I am. I am everything. I am everywhere. I am everyone. I can be anything I want. That's why he never has that third blank. Why? Because that's our God. He's that much bigger. He cannot be confined to one word to describe who he is. So, you know, when we talk about Yahweh, I just wanted to talk about five descriptions. And, you know, as I was preparing this, too, I was just like, wow. I was just so mind blown about just how big and how vast our God is. And I just wanted to pick out five things that describe who our God is. Now, the first one is our God, he never had a beginning and has no end. Amen. Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> God never had a beginning and he never has an end. Amen. All of us in this room, we have a beginning. The moment we are born, we have a beginning and sorry, but we're all going to die one day too. Right? We, we're, we're finite beings. So we all have a beginning and an end. We have this timeline you know, set before God in our lives. But when we look at Yahweh, our God, he has no beginning. He was never created. He just always existed, and he will always exist. That's crazy. That's mind-blowing, <laughs> right? The second thing is, you know, our God, he is utterly independent. That means 
Our God never needs our help. He never needs our support. He never needs our guidance. He's perfectly good with who he is. Amen. That's Yahweh. But on the opposite, though, on the other hand, anything or anyone who is not God is utterly dependent on God, right? And that's why, um, you know, that's why we are totally dependent on him. We can't even breathe aside from God allowing it. Right? right even the reason why we're breathing right now is because god is allowing us to we are utterly dependent on god but god is not uh, number three is god is same yesterday today and forever it comes from the book of hebrews and the new testament he yes, is the same thank you, Lord. Thank he never you, Lord. changes he never he does not improve to be better as if he ever needed to get better he's just the best the way he is he does not become something else God is not going to become something else after 10 years. He's not going to improve. He's not going to like morph into something. He just is. And that's totally and perfectly fine with mm. our Yahweh. Amen. 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 Right? Amen. Thank the you. The fourth Lord. thing is, you know, God does whatever he wants and whatever he does is perfectly good, is perfectly right, and is perfectly beautiful. Amen. You know, there is nothing that cannot be done against his will. You know, um, a lot of us, maybe even for me too, in my life, sometimes I question that though. I'm like, you know what? Yes, I know that my God is perfect. I know my God is good and right and beautiful. But when I see some things going on in this world, even in my life, some are not good, some are not right, and some are definitely not beautiful, right? And sometimes we do question that. We're like, well, then where is God? Well, I thought God was good. I thought God was right. I thought God was beautiful all the time. But why are some things messed up in my life? Or why are some things messed up in this world? It's not looking good. It's not looking beautiful. But, you know, we need to, do, we need to keep in mind that that does not change who God is. Because all the things that we see that are not good or right, it's a consequence of our sins. It's not that God wanted it that way. He gave us a choice, and, he, and he, uh, he, is, he is not the creator of something bad or something, good, uh, something not beautiful, right? And that's why we need to understand, well, that does not change who God is. He doesn't change. But yes, this world is broken, and yes, I am broken, and yes, my life is broken. But again, that good God... He, we, when you trust in that good God, we know that he takes care of our lives. And he's the one that makes the broken into beautiful. Amen? Yeah, and he has the ability to. And the last thing that I wanted to share about Yahweh was, God's name is most worthy of praise and honor. It is. Whether you're a believer or not, whether you, you know, whether you are a Christian or not, whether you deny the existence of God, whatever it is, it's just a plain fact that God's name is most worthy of praise and honor. He is the supreme being that is most important and most valuable in the entire universe. And that's the name Yahweh. Amen. That's the beautiful name of God. Thank and you know, you when Lord. we look at the name Yahweh and the meaning of it, kind of looked at the meaning, we get to understand the character of God. You know, that's simply who he is, and we can't help but to realize that everything we need is in God's name because we are utterly dependent on God, and he is everything. He is everywhere. He is everyone. Everything that we need is in God. That means there is help, there is protection, there is power, and there is victory in God's name. Yeah. You know, in Proverbs 18.10, um, it says, The name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. You know, the righteous person here in this verse, the righteous means those who believe in Jesus Christ. You Amen. know, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. What he's implying is, you know what, if you really want to experience the goodness of Yahweh, if you really want to experience the power of that name through Yahweh, you got to come to me first. Because I am the way to that name. I am, the, I am the truth and the life to that name. And that's why Jesus made the way for us. He died on the cross for all of our sins. He washed away those sins and he cleansed us so that we can be presentable to the Father. And now we can run to that name. And that name becomes a fortified tower to us. Amen? He makes it available. Like that vast name, that name that we cannot describe with all of our knowledge because it's just that much bigger and that much powerful. That, become, that name is available for all of us. 
And in that name, there is power. In that name, there is help. In that name, there is protection. In that name, there is encouragement. In that name, there is love. In that name, there is grace. In that name, there is everything that we need. And we can run to it. And we're going to be safe. Amen? Amen? And that's why, you know, when we understand this name Yahweh, when we see I am for who he is, then we have this better understanding of our God. And, you know, we, we can't help but to be encouraged that this name, because everything that we need, and just, the, just like the first song that we sing, there is none like you, oh yeah, there is none like our God, there is none like Yahweh, there is no other God that can make themselves available for us, there is no other God that can show that much love, there is no other God that can show that much grace to us, and calls us children, right, that is awesome, so, you know, this Thanksgiving season, you know, Let's really just take the time to thank God for being God. When was the last time you actually just thanked God for being God? It's, sometimes I think we just get so caught up with just like, oh, thank you for this and thank you for that. And, you know, like the things that we possess or the things that we have. But have you ever just really thanked God for being him? Because just being him, that is enough for us. Just knowing who God is for himself, that's enough for us. And that's something beautiful in itself. And that becomes power in our lives. That becomes the motivation. That becomes a love in our lives. So let's really thank him for who he is and what he has done. Let's thank him for this great, awesome name that becomes a fortified tower in our lives. Let's thank him for the vast love that is displayed through Jesus Christ on the cross. And, you know, when we look at our situation, when we see that there are certain things that we can't solve on our own. And, you know, that's the moment when you need to run to that name. You need to run back to that name. You need to really hold on to that name. And, you know, you know that his beautiful plan, his good plan, his right plan for your life will unfold when you hope in him. Amen. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just going to end with this. Just know that this name Yahweh, this vast name applies in your life. Once you accept Jesus Christ into your life, once he is your savior, and once you taste Mm -hmm. and see that the gospel is good, once you see that, wow, Jesus has died for me, for my sins, and he has cleansed me so that I can actually have this name in my life, wow, let's thank him for that. Let's believe in this name. Let's trust in this name. Let's run back to this name every day, and let's worship this name forever long. Amen? Amen. All right. So, yeah, that's it for today. But, you know, once again, I just want to encourage you guys. You know, there are times in our lives where it's going to be hard, but I think that name, it's the name, who God is. Amen. That, that, that God, our awesome God, that great God. Amen. If we just sing of his name and if we just remember his name and thank his name, we know that we are in good hands. Amen? Amen. All right. Let's bow down and pray. Father God, we thank you so much for your name. Your name is a fortified tower. Your name is strong. Your name is victorious. And God, it's just so awesome that your name can be applied in our lives, that your name is available, that we can always hold on to it. And God, um, with our finite knowledge, we cannot describe or we cannot even uh, worship to the extent of what that means. But just with little that we have at this time, we just want to take time to thank you We just want to take time to really love this name and remember this name and worship this name. So, God, thank you for who you are. Mm, Thank you for what you've been doing in our lives. And thank you for all the hope and the love that you display in our lives. Help us to always run back. Help us to always find victory and protection and power in your love. And that we can also even go out and spread about your name uh, to our neighbors, God. So, thank you so much for this time. Thank you so much for your word. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank Let's you. give Pastor Hannah a hand, would you please? And now the Saran Gloria Choir. Would you take your places, please? Give them a hand as they come. And by the way, uh, before, uh, Brother Will, you had a, somebody lost a key? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, amen, amen, amen. Thank you. One of my, one of my most common prayers is, hey, my brother, hey, wait just a second. Before this guy goes any further, 
About 14 years ago. No, 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 wait just a minute. About 14 years ago, he and his wife walked in this church and said, I sort of, we sort of like what you're doing. We'd like to be a part of it. And I said, okay, what would you like to do? And they said, well, the Bible says, be ye doers of the word, not hearers only. He and his wife came from Sarong Community Church about 13 or 14 years ago. They started this, and you can see what it's done now. See what God has done. I'm not bragging on him. I'm bragging on God. But he started it. It's all his fault. <laughs> all right. Now, this group is going to bless us. Am I saying that right? Gloria Choir? Is that right? Am I saying it right? Somebody, somebody shake your head this way. Did I? Did I? <laughs> am I saying it right? And we've got men and women and uh, children. <laughs> and some of you that are not young children anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to ask anybody how old they are, so relax, okay? But seriously, let us listen to the Lord as this gentleman, tell us your name. Okay. Well, good evening. Let's, let me introduce uh, our choir. Uh, we're going to be singing two songs, one in Korean and one in English. The first song is in Korean, and it is titled, In Jesus' Name. Uh, I'm sorry? Our second song is in Korean. Okay, the first one is in English. It is called, Worthy is the Lamb. As you all know, it is about thanking for his love and his amazing grace. And the middle of the song, our conductor will turn to you so that we could sing all together. The second song is in Korean and is titled, In Jesus' Name. Uh, the song sings that we will triumph, we will be victorious over all our trials, over all our troubles, over all our burdens, in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid. Bearing all my sin and shame, in love you came and gave a raging grace. Thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for the nail pierced hands. Wash me in your cleansing flow. Now all I know, your forgiveness and embrace.
song brought to us years ago is celebrating birthdays. And every month when they're here, we celebrate birthdays. And we can't have birthday without cake. So Ron Praise Team is taking the stage again. Uh, is there a cake coming out? All right. Now I neglected to do I neglected to do my pastoral duties coming through there because I didn't see the cake. But what we always do, I come through and I say a special prayer that says, Lord Jesus, take all of the calories out of this cake. <laughs> A beautiful cake, and we praise the Lord. Now, if you have a birthday in November, we want to celebrate your birthday. So, I know somebody that had a birthday in November, and it's me. So, everybody else that had a birthday, please join me at the front. Birthday in November. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be bashful. This is a good time to tattle. I know we tell our kids don't tattle, but right now is a good time to tattle. You had a birthday in November. Come right over here. Birthday in November. All right, Mama. God bless you. Birthday in November. All right. More birthdays in November. See, see, I told y'all November was a good month. I've been saying that all along. All right, the photographer's trying to tell us what to do here. Which way you want us to go? This way? All right. Show, folks, I'm in show business. We got to do this right. We're live on television. We got to do it right. Okay, here we go. Happy birthday. Now, they're going to take some pictures, and then we're going to sing happy birthday God bless you. Yeah, I don't care what you're singing in. There'll be Koreans singing it. There'll be English-speaking people singing it. And there'll be country preachers singing it. So we're going to do it in about three languages. All right? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. make an announcement here for what we're doing as we're leaving these ladies know what they're doing so that's all that matters we're going to blow out the candles now though we got to blow the candles out all right everybody together blow them out all right all right happy birthday happy birthday and birthday wouldn't be birthday without a gift Without the blowing out of the candles and without a gift. The pastor gets one. Hallelujah. I thought I was going to get left out there for a minute. Yeah, I thought I was going to get left out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sarong Praise Team is going to sing us out in just a moment. But uh, we praise the Lord. Did you have a birthday in November? Well, good. How come you showed up so late? No, I, I was over there. Oh, you were over there. Okay. <laughs> I thought you showed up late. All right. All right. One of the things that happens here that, that, that my dear sweet wife that I had for 48 years, one month and 14 days, used to tell me, don't do this. Because she said, honey, Korean culture, they're very shy and very quiet. And you're big mouth and loud. So... So you embarrass them, but that's okay. Because uh, we are all different, but we do love the Lord. Amen? Amen. So, uh, Father, in Jesus' name, bless all the birthday people, including me. And bless this church, Lord. And bless the wrong praise team as they sing us out tonight. Stand with me, please. We're going to have a benediction. And then we're going to exit right out that door right there. So you got in here on this end and you got close to the door. So. <laughs> All right. Father, in Jesus' name, bless each of these ladies and these gentlemen, especially those that had a birthday in November. 
and the rest of us that had them the other months, we ask for your blessing as well. Dismiss us now with this great, great music from the praise team, and Lord, help us to serve you better and better every day. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And you're dismissed. Hey, if I can make one, one announcement before you leave. Okay. Um, you know, I mentioned about the small group Bible study that we will be starting in a couple weeks. So if you haven't had a chance to sign up, there's a sign-up sheet on top of the piano. We're going to start first week of uh, December, 4 o'clock here. So please sign up on your way out.